Hello, I'm Keshav Srivastava with Avaya Client Services. This video covers Avaya One X Communicator, IMN Presence, Configuration Steps, and a short demo. Configuring the users on SMGR for Presence can be done in two ways. One of the ways to import the users from the Active Directory. This will create the username and other identity details of the users on the SMGR. And then the communication profile can be created by the administrator with details regarding the session manager, the CM, and other address of the users. Other way is to create the users manually, which we would be doing. We will be testing the presence between two H.233 users. So first thing will be to create the CM profile for the users. Then provide the soft phone features, which is enabling the IP soft phone and IP video. Third thing would be to create the communication address on the COM profile and give the password. Finally, creating the E.164 address, which will enable the SMGR to create a presence user for the same user and then provide the login details and other identity details on the identity page and then commenting the changes to create the user. So here I have already logged into the session manager and then I click on new. Okay, so as I said, the first thing that we'll do is to create the communication profile. So for time being, I am just uh, leaving the identity page blank. On the COM profile, the first thing that I'll be doing is to create the CM profile. So here I go and enable the CM endpoint profile. I choose one of the CM from my inventory. Then I choose the profile type of as an endpoint. I can use one of the existing endpoints if the CM already had an endpoint, but uh, I'll choose to create a new endpoint. I must choose from the available templates uh, of the station form. So I go with the 9640 CM template. I will provide the security code. I think I'll go with restall as defaults. And also I will click on the endpoint editor to give the IP soft phone features. And go into the feature options. And then I enable IP soft phone. So next thing for me is to create the communication address. So it's not a HCP user, so I'll not create a type of via SIP. Instead, I'll create E.164 type. Because I created the CM profile first, I already know what is the address of my user. So I just give it the same details here. Choose a domain. Click on add. Then I give the password. This is same as my same password. Remember that this password will be the presence password. Okay. And I go on to the identity page and then give a name to the user. I give the login details. So all basic details have been configured. Once the user details have been configured, let me go and log into a one X communicator with these details. And also, I will go and give the IM and presence details. Then I hit OK. 
when it's you would restart to save this information well when it's you restart i will go back and log into another user which is on my computer the configuration for this user has already been done and i will log into this user as you can see i can see my own presence here with the jelly bean available in order to see the presence of the other user i must add the user as a favorite contact so let me go and add a contact so currently i cannot see the presence details so question mark shows unknown state I go back to my other machine I can see my own presence here, which is good. So means presence is working fine. Also, I come back to my local machine and I can now see that I have a buddy, Ravi Mishra, then I can see his presence, which is fine. Now I do the same adding contact on the second user. Okay, now I add a new contact. This is my first user. Okay, immediately I can see Keshav's status because I subscribed for him. I'll try to do an IM session with this first user. Also, let me try and send a Smiley. I just heard a tone which is my first user receiving my message. You can also send this smileys. So on the first user I can see a second pop-up. We go and open it. And I can see that I have received some messages. So in my present state, I can choose between various states. For example, right now I'm available. I can go to a different state busy and then go on my other machine and check. Yes, see, my state is not shown as busy. Let me go and change the state on my second user. To unavailable. So yes, it is updated here correctly. So it is working fine. Now let's discuss the auto manage feature. Auto manage feature is a feature on the present services wherein we tell the present server to change our present state automatically depending on our state. So for example, once I choose the state to auto manage. It automatically brings back me to available state because I'm available. And suppose if I go on a call with the second user, on the second user, I see that my state has changed to busy. Let me change my this user as also to auto manage. It's not showing as available. And as soon as I will answer the call, my state changes to busy. In order to troubleshoot presence and IM, we must first understand that the SIP mode 1XE will use the SIP protocol for the presence updates. Hence, we need to look in the SIP messages logs for presence issues. Whereas for IM, the XMPP protocol is used. Hence, in SIP mode of 1XE, XMPP logs are to be reviewed for IM issues. Whereas for a H.2 stream mode 1XE, XMPP protocol does both presence and IM. Hence, we'll need to look into only the XMPP logs. Let's briefly review on how to collect logs. To enable logging, we go in settings, general settings. And then we go under advanced. Under diagnostic logging, we enable the logging.
customer presence click ok so now my logs are stored in percent our data folder so i go in there go to our banning submigator folder and i go into log files and then i see xmpp log thank you for your time today we hope this information was helpful we welcome your comments questions and feedback at mentor at or on twitter at awa mentor thank you for choosing a while